um, how do you help a novice podcaster? Because I think we were novice when we started it. <laughs> and we, I think Charlita is the one who did the research, basically. So how did you, you know, do that, Charlita? So I think one, well, I think your idea. Yeah. And so we were trying to figure it out. And I think even if we take it back to just like our children's books and wanting to make sure that whatever we do is good quality and knowing our lane and like we knew we could bring the content we knew we could bring the energy but we're like we want this podcast to look good we want it to have a good look and feel and so I actually was researching saw your website but then also got you through a referral yes. um and so it was a referral from like just people in the network that knew you mm -hmm. and so it just a testament to like your your brand which you felt was new but it had already started to uh, kind of speak for itself. And so I just think it's important, though, that we can we can do it all as women. We can do it all as moms. But do we have to? Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's good to just step back and say, you're really good at this. So let me let you do this and let me do let me do what I'm good at. And I don't think we do that enough as women, as moms. We try to do too much. Agreed. And I think we would have tried to piecemeal it. And it would not have looked good. And so I've seen some of your podcast videos where you say, you know, your success rate will be like this way if you try to do this or bringing in <laughs> podcast producers so your success rate can improve over time. So talk a little bit about just that alone. Yeah, I work with a lot of sometimes I'll work with people who already have a podcast that is put together with duct tape and bubble wrap. <laughs> And we have to take the pieces apart and choose the pieces that we're going to keep and leave all the rest behind. So I do think that there are so many resources out there to learn how to podcast on your own. There's so many YouTube videos you can watch on the subject. And I think for a lot of people where it comes down to cost and not being able to afford a podcast producer, then yes, try it on your own. Don't let that hold you back from starting at all. But it's amazing when we work with people who trust us completely and they're like, exactly, I'm bringing the creativity. I'm I'm bringing my voice, the the energy that I have, and I'm going to let you do all of the editing and the stuff that I don't want to touch because we make sure that it sounds good from the very beginning, from the actual recording, instead of having then us, we have to like bubble, bubble gum and duct tape it together because the recording is bad. We get it right the first time when we work with you from the very beginning, and then we can make it even better in the editing process. And I would say it's not just the editing process. I think you helped us with our like brand of our podcast as we were going back and forth with the title for our podcast, mm -hmm. the intro and the outro, like sound clips, as well as the music, the photos that went along with it. I mean, it, it's really full service. It's not just video editing. Mm -hmm. Everyone says, you know, don't be a jack of all trades, like pick one thing to be really good at. And I try to just embrace being a little bit good at a bunch of different things. And I'm really, really good at the recording, editing. I have Adam on my team to help me on the editing side also. But I could do the design. I could do the photography. I can come up with that vision. I can come up with a strategy and figure out what colors go well together and how we put all of that, uh, you know, together in this beautiful branded package. And so I really do try to bring all those elements of my brain together to offer that full service. But I also think, especially for a novice podcaster, um, and particularly like if, if you're a mom, you know, trying to, you know, speak about a topic that you're super passionate about, I think having you have all of those services that are ultimately are connected from like an end-to-end -end podcast experience mm -hmm. makes it a little more affordable than yeah. if we had to go get our own like marketer, our own, you know, I don't know what they're called, musician, pod podcast musician, <laughs> or, um, a designer. photographer, yeah. designer. Like mm -hmm. I think it also helps a novice when you're trying to test it out that you offer these packages that have everything that you need. I'm going to put that on my website because that's, <laughs> that's pretty good. You're welcome. <laughs> I know. And I we know. do love collaborating with other creatives too. So I'm always happy to send people like the photographers I know who would do a great job and web designers. And if they're starting with like a brand new logo that's going to go on everything, then I'm like work with a designer, work with a branding strategist, like – Go niche where you need to, but to your point, like if we can do it in-house, then we we do our best to do that. 